Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about the sign test and statistics. This is a non-parametric test. Um, and this kind of test is mostly used um, for quick data analysis. Um, if you want to just check real quick, is there um, a difference between the two things studied in this data? So I'm just going to provide a quick example. So you have a number of, I guess, cases um, in which there is a driver and a passenger and say they're in a car accident. Um, and you want to say, is there a correlation between the driver injury and the passenger? Or is there, like, is there a difference or are they the same? And you're trying to test if the, I guess, significance of this, um, of the injury is related based on if you're the driver or the passenger. So we just want to know the difference, not whether, not the magnitude of it. So this is um, the key distinction. I want to highlight that. I'll say it again. You want to know that there, you just want to test if there's a difference. It's a yes or no answer, um, but you don't want to know by how much. This test will not show you that. Um, but if you want to find out quickly, this is one way to do it. And this is how we're going to do it, actually. You're going to simply compare the data here, and you say, okay, literally, is there a difference? Well, in mathematics, difference means comparing two numbers, which generally means subtraction. So you want to see, okay, what's 20 or what's 42 minus 35? Well, that would be a positive number. What's 42 minus 35? Again, a positive number. What's 34 minus 45? That's a negative number. And you're going to go all the way down, do that. So 34 minus 45 is also a negative number. But here's one thing to note. If you get the same number, oops, if you get 45 minus 45, which is 0, um, that is we pretend like that data point never happened. So you can kind of just like squiggle it out. Um, and then that means your sample size will decrease. We'll get to that later, but we'll keep going and comparing the rest of the data. You can skip forward if you can do the math on your own, but I'll do it anyway. 40 minus 42 is a negative number. Uh, this will also be a negative number, a negative number, positive number, negative number, negative number, positive, oh, negative number, negative number, negative number, negative number, negative number, negative number, and again, if you guys are still with me, uh, we got zero here because, again, these are the same and we pretend like it never happened. Again, I'm highlighting this is a quick test, um, and you can see that by how fast it just kind of did it right there. So now pretty much let's count how many uh, positive tests we got and the negative tests. So the number of positives were just one, two, and three, one, two, three. So three of them. And the number of negative tests we got was 13, because we are not including the zeros. So again, another note, pretend the zeros do not exist, um, that those data points were never ex um, acquired. So that means your sample size was, we have 18, but now it's going to be reduced to 16, because we are excluding those two here. So this part and um, this part is not, or that sample is not, in the data. We're just going to pretend like that never happened, so our reduced sample size is 16. But now this sign test um, has a formula to it. Let me write it down real quick. So this is something called a B statistic, um, and pretty much you can get that from a table, but the way that you would figure that out is you would simply take the maximum value of either the number of positives or negative values. So you look at this data here and you say which number is bigger, 3 or 13? Obviously 13 is bigger. So that means the maximum number here, so our BS statistic, um, is 13. Uh, now you want to look that up in a table, um, but the way you, you need to look it up first is you need to declare what your alpha is. So your alpha, let's say, is 0 0.05. So that would be a 95% confidence kind of interval you can think of. Um, so we'll take a look at that in this table here. Now it is kind of blurry, I think. Um, but try to make it clear. Here's a table where you would look it up. Your uh, alpha is highlighted at the top. We wanted it to be 0 0.05. And our n on the left is uh, shown there. And remember, we're not using 18. We're using 16. And we go to 13 as our B statistic. And we get this number right here, which is 0 0.021 if it's difficult to read. So I'll write that number here. So then we get a value of 0 0.021. Now, what, is this, what does this really mean? Well, let's compare it to our alpha. And notice how it is uh, less than our alpha. 
which is 0 0.05. Um, and we could say, technically, uh, with finding a p-value as well, you would determine that you have to reject the null hypothesis um, because p is greater, or excuse me, p would be less than alpha in this case, and there actually is a difference between the drivers and the passengers. Um, so that's pretty much the sign test here. You did figure out, say, look, there is a difference because, look, you can even look at it even if you didn't use statistics and p-values and alphas and all that. If you just looked and you said, okay, I got way more negatives than I did positives, there probably is a difference. Um, and that's kind of the quickest way to look at it in terms of that, but you can still prove it statistically as well. But hope this helped in terms of checking out um, a quick sign test if you just want to look at some data real quick and see if you can pick up on a few inferences and uh, determine if there is a correlation just based off of time um, real quick. Um, but what, if you wanted to make this test stronger, if, say, these passenger, driver and passengers um, were in the same accident, like these were in the same cars, um, that would be what's known as a paired sample. And then you would do a different test for that. Um, and then it's actually using that other test would produce a more reason. I guess your data is stronger if, if knowing that your data is paired. But that's something else. Don't worry about that unless you're interested. But um, again, sign test is just a quick test for non-parametric. Um, these sa samples are not paired, and you're just testing, is there a difference? Is there not Not the magnitude, in a sense, but just saying yes or no, is there a difference or not? We said yes, there is. There seems to be um, a big difference, and the passenger seems to be more um, affected. All right, so again, hope this helped, and happy studying.